The show is called Not a Stitch, and uh, Amber uh, Dorco Stopper basically came to me. I really respect her and her, her work, and so without even looking at the artwork, I said yes to Amber. And I think that's the beauty of owning your own space, is that um, bringing in other creative artists and other people outside of your world is um, an incredibly important thing to do. The tactile, the hidden type, and I always tried to write in Braille as a child, but I didn't really grasp the concept, so I used a pencil, and I couldn't understand why I couldn't read it. Alison Fink's piece, um, actually she's got three pieces. I, um, I think they're absolutely stunning in a, a way that evokes fiber. The geometry of it and how it's laid over that, that series of, of uh, type that sort of falls and looks almost, almost geographic in a lot of ways. The only thing I ever saw online was, was nasty derision about this community, where it was obvious to me that they were people who wanted a lot of custom work and, and had a lot to talk about. And, and in this world where everybody was trying to come up with punk rock knitting and it's not your grandma's knitting and we're gonna sit in a bar and knit. When they were faced with something that was actual hardcore kink, they backed away from it completely. The knitting tarot is actually my only contribution to the show. I decided that I could do the entire thing based on nothing but knitting imagery. And my sister did all the illustrations for this deck after I had rewritten all the texts. And, and when we realized it was going well and it was really cute and we wanted to do something with it, we thought, should we take it to a publisher? And then we said, no, let's buy an iron hand press and I'll just stay at home for three years and set the book in lead type, although I don't really know how to do that, and it's really not a very good job. A lot of letterpress snobs would tell you.